right over there, madame. Come, dear. Good evening. Good evening. How do you do? How do you do? Please sit down. I'm charmed, ladies. It's so nice of you to join me. It was kind of you to ask us. Will you ever forgive me for the way I acted? I'm terribly ashamed. I was positively insulting. Oh, that's all right. It's an honor to be insulted by such a kind gentleman as you. May I ask, are you planning to remain long in Havana? Well, it all depends. You see, we came here rather unexpectedly. Yes, you see, Mr. Smith, we had such a strenuous social season abroad. We just simply had to close our townhouses in Paris and London and come here for a rest. Yes? Yes, of course. Isn't it beautiful here in Havana? I think it reminds one of Italy. I adore Italy. The Bay of Naples, Venice. Do you know Venice? You mean the girl with her arms cut off? Well, I love Venice. It's so easy to get around. Yes, it's such a wonderful streetcar system. And the canals. And the gondoliers. Did you like the gondoliers? Oh, they were gorgeous. We had one growing in our backyard, only the frost killed it. I think the architecture is beautiful. When I was there, I used to sit on my patio all day. Oh, you don't need to go abroad to do that. Traveling certainly brought us fun. And so does horseback riding. We're so glad to be back from Europe. Tell me this, have you ever been on a cook's tour? Us on a cook's tour? My dear, my dear. We can't even boil water without burning it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's very funny. Oh, uh, yes, but France. France, that's... My favorite country, uh, Paris, Cherbourg, Bordeaux. But best of all, I like breast. So do I. Such nice white meat. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I don't believe I know you. You remember Wilbur Hawkins, don't you? Wilbur Hawkins. No, I never met anybody by that name. Why well, he sent his regards to you. Well, if you see him, remember me to him. All right. But I don't know him. If you happen to see him, remember me to him. Say, who are you, anyway? I'm Colonel Joy, the big horse breeder. Of course, horses are just a hobby with me. I'm more interested in the more vital things, things that make this world a better place to live in. Yeah? I'm just perfecting a new type of tope. See, I'm not making the ordinary type of tope with the parted in the middle. I'm making a tope with the whole top part cut out so that the wearer can give the impression that he's bald. That's very interesting. I just perfected a lantern with no light in it. That sounds like a smart invention. But why no light in it? Oh, this is a lantern to hunt burglars with. It's a lantern you just put at the side of your bed at night, and then if you hear a burglar during the night, you grab the lantern and go hunting for him. Well, of course, the burglar won't see you because there's no light in the lantern. Consequently, you can sneak up on him and give him a good surprise. That's marvelous. You know, you're quite an inventor. I'm the man that thought of the radio. Oh, now, wait a minute. Marconi invented the radio. Yes, I know, but I thought of it. You see, it always struck me like it'd be a very good idea. I sometimes wished I'd worked that out myself. Will you have a drink? Oh, thank you. Pardon me, I think I see a fellow over there I don't know. Message for you, madam. Thank you. Pardon me, please. I have a telephone call. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, but you'll uh, come right back, won't you? Oh, of course. Thank you. Hello. It was awfully nice of you to come. It was nice of you to ask me. Oh, I couldn't help it. I've been longing for an opportunity to be alone with you. Will you sit down? Thank you. I stole away. I can only stay a minute. Well, that's all it'll take to tell you what I've been dying to say. Only a minute? It can't be very important. Maybe not to you. Perhaps you've heard it before. Perhaps. But I'd like to hear you say it. Oh. Then you know what I'm going to say? I hope not. That is, at least I hope you'll say it differently. Well, I'll try. Do you see that great, big, beautiful moon in the sky? Yes. I put it there. See that ocean and the moonbeams playing hide and seek with the waves? No. You should have said yes. If I had, what would you have said? I would have said, I put them there. You know, you're a very remarkable person. You're rather wonderful, too. Mind if I sit down? My feet hurt. Go ahead, sit down. 
around. Make yourself comfortable. Take off your hat. Thanks, I will. Well, supposing we all have a nice little chat here. You care for something to drink? Would you care for a horse's neck? I don't want no part of a horse. See, my mind is all on horses tomorrow. I'm all a Twitter about that race. Why, practically everybody in this place is betting on my horse Thunder tomorrow. You want to be sure and bet on her. She can't lose. Oh, uh, this is my jockey, Tom Ryan. How do you do? Everything's all been attended to, sir. Thunder's in great shape for the race tomorrow. Is she fully recovered from her operation? Fully recovered, sir. Oh, has your horse been operated on? Oh, yes. You see, I had her gallstones removed. See, I don't want her to carry any extra weight during the race tomorrow. I spoke to the judges about the horses nearsightedness, sir. But they won't do as you asked. Oh, that's too bad. See, Thunder's a trifle nearsighted. I suggest that they permit her to stand up ahead of the other horses a little way. You know, so she'd get a better view of the finish line. That's a very good idea. Uh, Thunder been sleeping well? Fairly comfortably, sir. You better put a new blanket on her, Damore. See, Thunder's been sitting down quite a little bit lately, and the old blanket is a little bit baggy around the hips. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, how about the cats? Every single black cat in the van has been drowned, sir. Say, I thought this was a horse race. Why drown the cats? They're not running. Well, see, that's a secret. She, she thunders a thoroughbred, and she absolutely dislikes black cats. She inherited a, a hatred of, for black cats from her mother. If a black cat crosses her path, she's liable to do anything. I've known her to become upset and just pout for a week. Is there anything else, sir? No, I think that'll be all. I have an idea. Come on, everybody. Tomorrow we'll all get on Thunder. All get on her? Is the horse that big? No, no, I don't mean that. I mean we'll all bet on her. There's nothing on four legs can beat her. Well, read what the paper says about her. 